What's going on guys and today we are doing the top three Heroclix support figures. It's a video that's been circulating for a while. Um, Heroclix channels have been tagging each other in it, getting people to pick their favourites so I thought I'd throw mine in the hat. But first I want to explain what I think a support figure is. So basically it's a figure that's normally, it's not many points, somewhere between 20 and 70, 80 I would say. It's sort of the ideal. Have powers like probability, perplex, outwit, support. It's to help your team KO characters. They won't do it themselves, but they'll give other figures the ability to do it. So I'm going to start with number three. This one I couldn't decide. I was thinking of putting in Anarchy from um, Joker's Wild. He's a prime figure. I'm personally a huge fan of his. What he does at the start of the game, he can place a load of bombs and he can set them off when people walk over them. Basically that lets you control the map. You can choose where they can walk without taking damage. So if a player sees six bombs ahead of them, they're probably going to go the opposite way. And you can force plays. I think control is another aspect I didn't mention about support figures. They won't necessarily be able to attack, but being able to control the battlefield like that is a huge ability. As well as that, he also has prob, which is... Another good, probably the best support power. It's a dice game after all, rolling dice, so you're going to want to be able to roll them as many times as possible. But saying all of that, I ended up picking Elijah Snow. He's the super rare from Elseworlds, and what he can do for 70 points is almost unbelievable. So if we take a look at his dial, he's got running shot, pulse wave, barrier, and leadership, which is a fantastic set for a support character. He has the option to barrier, he has 8 range and 3 targets which is just insane for 70 points. He has in Dom, but where he really shines are his special powers. So what he can do is once per game he can give himself a free action which means anyone that can't fly can only move in direct paths other than him so it doesn't affect him. It, you shouldn't really build your team around it so it only affects your opponent. For 70 points, that's such a massive power, like it really messes up with people's movement. I feel like choosing this figure, I should probably give a shout out. My friend Joe played it at a WizKids Open recently, and he just got so many compliments on it, so many comments, they didn't expect it. It's a figure not a lot of people look at, but I think it warrants discussion. As well as that, it's got a power which says it can choose an action, so or move action, power action, close or range. And if your opponent commits one of those, they have to take two action tokens instead of one. So there's sort of a deterrent there as well. Not only can he control the battlefield, he can control actions. He ha It's just an incredible figure all round for only 70 points. Only downside I could pick out is that he is only four clicks long. His keywords aren't fantastic. Past is probably the best one if you're going to use one. But other than that, incredible figure. That's why he's number three. Number two, Jane Foster from the Mighty Thor set. Now she's only an uncommon which makes it even more impressive. She has 15 defense defend and support but it's a special so she can support characters even if they have an opposing character adjacent which is kind of annoying to play against but an incredible ability. She adds 9 attack so she's rolling 9 on a 15, a 6 she'll hit most of the time. Really good figure but on top of all that she can't be attacked or lines of fire can't be drawn to her by characters over 75 points which is unbelievable for a 30 point character she's protected you can throw her in front of your main attacker to defend them there's just so many pluses she's got in dom and on top of all that if that's not enough if a character is ko'd next to her or adjacent to her she can roll a dice and turns into the thor which is number 17 from the mighty four set so if we take a quick look at that figure, it's 9 charge, it's got 11 attack, 4 damage, it's just impervious. When it hits, it knocks back as well, so you knock the character back and then you can make a ranged attack for free. Considering this was a 30 point piece a few turns ago, it's absolutely insane what it can do. And that's why it's number 2. And that rhymed. And finally number 1. I was torn. My personal favourite support is the Captain America Earth X. I think his leadership is insane, his ability to remove uh, relics or objects, whatever, is incredible. He's got the protect against mind control, his stats are good, like, just an all-round and incredible figure. But I've picked probably the one that can slide into any team, and that is the Red Leader Prime. 
Now looking at this, you might think, oh, he can double perplex. But there's been a recent ruling where he can actually use perplex as a free action, and then he can power action to perplex twice. So in total, you get a plus three, which is unbelievable for 50 points. I mean, he's got sidestep, he's got super senses, so he could potentially survive an attack. He has outwit on top of that perplex. For 50 points, you're probably not going to find a better figure in modern age right now. But as always, let me know your favourite support figures that I've not mentioned in the comments, or let me know what you think of my choices. I mean, I did technically pick five, but I'm sure you'll let me off. And let me know what video you want me to do next. I'm thinking of doing a few team building episodes, so maybe main attackers, secondary attackers, stuff like that. Similar videos to this. And then I'm going to go a little more into the meta game, and hopefully I'm going to have some matches for you. We've got a sealed event and a Christmas event coming up, so I'll try and film something there. Obviously, you can see my camera's pretty good quality, so hopefully they come out really well. But until next time, see ya.